our study of nearly 7,000 firefighters across the country, we found that about 80% were overweight or obese. That's not too much higher than the general public. But firefighters might have a more difficult time with obesity or might be more at risk because they probably get less sleep than the general public due to the nature of their work, the shift work, the 24 to 48 hour shifts. We know that people that get less than six hours of sleep a night are more prone to obesity. So somewhere along the line uh, in evolution, metabolism and uh, sleep became linked. We're the only creatures who selectively sleep deprive ourselves. Normally, if an animal is sleep deprived, it's because there, there's something wrong. And so, somewhere along the lines in evolution, when people, when animals aren't sleeping, the body says something's wrong, hold on to uh, whatever you have. And so, uh, we know that the hormones that regulate appetite are affected when people aren't getting enough sleep. So leptin, the hormone that says I'm satisfied, goes down, and ghrelin, the hormone that indicates I'm hungry, increases when you're not getting adequate sleep. We know that people that don't get uh, enough sleep uh, selectively choose carbohydrates more than healthy snacks. And so for many, many of those reasons might be affecting firefighters' um, obesity levels um, because of the nature of their schedules and um, the sleep that they're able to get. Sleep is a shared responsibility between employers and employees. The firefighters need to maximize their sleep opportunities before they come into work and during their shifts. Fire departments need to look at their policies governing sleep to ensure that firefighters have the opportunity to nap when they aren't working uh, and at the, or at the firehouse and to provide adequate facilities. Uh, in some fire departments, we've gone in and put blackout shades on all of the windows in the sleep compartment so that um, when there is an opportunity, firefighters are able to get better sleep. We've worked with some fire departments on alarms so that when there's a call, everyone in the firehouse doesn't have to be woken up if they're not needed for that particular call. Um, so there are different solutions, but they're unique to each fire department. And so I think everyone has to take a look at their department and their policies and see what they can implement to improve sleep in their firefighters.